So greedy. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. Passive abilities, unlike plasmids, you never have to activate them. Today's dangerous time, it never hurts to be a little faster. Yes! Yes. Okay. This will help. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. <laughs> Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform, nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the seafloor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected outrage. Obstinate sea lion. This feels very much like a. Um, this section feels like I'm playing through Portal again, interestingly enough. Get shot. I would like to purchase a gift. When yours hold future park security. Oh. Small wrench in the plan of purchasing a gift. Spontane future sticks. Ah. I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of Rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. Oh, the gift shop! That's not a gift. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, so zap while reloading. It's a lot better. Why is there booze in the gift shop? I mean, I guess it's the 60s, but like, woof. I like this music. Huh? Oh, you. Find a little sister in El Dorado. For what for? Train bulkhead door is frozen shut. Ah, I need to thaw the ice, yes. How is that going to go? Darling, just close your eyes and hope it's over quickly. 
Okay. <laughs> you sound like Robin Williams. These are cool plants. They look like a moon ball stuck on top of a an inverted pancake, I guess. <laughs> Concave. And they're here. Off and gum. Oh, souvenirs. Oh, we're in the gift shop. Yes. Okay. Right. Looking a little worse for wear here. Some nice shoe shining platforms. They still have those at airports. Happy birthday. Oof. That looks painful. Or like it would have been. Scratch my nose. Cut this out. <laughs> if you can. Maybe I just spoke over that. Shark! I want a shark. Give me. <laughs> Give me a shark. I can't pick you up. Wait, do I have a plasmid? I do! You are mine. <laughs> For the remainder of the trip. Shark. Aw, to drop objects. No, thank you. This is my shark. Used to be there was no margin in running the gift shop. I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of manufacture. Then I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Popper's Drop could whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. Yeah, I had to pick a needle or two out of the shipments, but all in all, nobody's the wiser, and I'm all the richer. This shark is my best friend. I finally figured out how to drop things politely as well. Hmm. Do I have something that takes anti-personnel rounds? I do now. Yes. I'm here, Sharky. Oh, we are on. Kill oh, Sharky, kill! Give me a finger on me! Where is my shark? What have you done with him? The light is so limited. No! <laughs> I've lost my boy! Sorry, I'm back now. Had to grieve. <laughs> uh, switch to... That one. But first I shall clear this area. Can only use one sink at a time, I guess. Crap rivet, got plenty of those. Nothing here. E5 book. <laughs> Saw your shadow. of interest. Reliable pharmacy. Women's club. Drugs, canned goods, and much more. We're 
you're qualified to help you with your nitrogen narcosis. Sander Cohen presents the Black Dream in experimental film. Unlike anything you've ever seen before. That probably wasn't good for me, whoops. Ah. Hell of a round. Today get heavy rivets. Heavy rivets. Extra damage. Nope. I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. Frying pan. I'm gonna bonk someone with a frying pan. Seems unintuitive to zap with the the other huh? other button. Fix your face, baby. I can fix yours. <laughs> Come here. Come get a frying pan to the schnoz. I gotta disappear. This one fires like a, um, like a staple gun. These people look a lot more spliced, sort of lumpier. Hmm. Me when I'm chilling. <laughs> Seems like everybody's on the go these days. Everybody but you. You still haven't experienced Ryan Industries' new spring line of plasmids. Isn't it about time you got caught up? Evolve today. Hmm. Some G turret. These are all the plasmids, but why are they lined up like that? Pick your plasmid and evolve. I don't think Rapture should ever be recreated in real life, but it'd be cool to have this museum. This way to the kitchen of tomorrow. Aha! As long as I get back through here with the plasmid. Horrible to see your grim face again. Lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the little sisters. Something physical, possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them big daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. That's Gil Alexander. Interesting. Aha. That's right, because I need... What was that goofy little trot just then? <laughs> Tra -la -la. Good night. Oh, the Eldorado Lounge. I am lethal and scary. Don't close that on me. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. 
Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. Oh, it's good so far. Now the problem is... The Tannenbaum is not giving us... The Atom. We will have to take it from other little girls. Prefer your combat up close personal with drill power or your attacks do more damage. Eat dog. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mom says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog eat dog. I wanted to see these dog eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Mm. It's a little... He will not attack until you do, but be prepared for a difficult fight. Yes, I've been there. Ha! I think I'll lay out some crap ribbits too. That will certainly make this a tolerable fight that I can actually win. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But yeah, to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. That's interesting. Oh, let's see. I'm hoping I don't have to kill you. You rescued me, sir, bubble. I mean, I walked away. It wasn't much of a rescue. I found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped. Been there. Could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her now more than ever. Hop, hop, Mr. Bubbles. Our angels were waiting. Okay. Oh. I hate that stun effect. your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy I don't trust you though are you gonna be okay daddy you always save me from monsters e to adopt <laughs> why is that never a meme I feel like that's automatically something that should back there we're in business now there are corpses all over rapture and little dimples there can oh, sniff correct. out the correct. atom on them find one
With R to ask her to lead you. Huh. I mean, I leave a bunch of corpses in my wake. Uh, I'd say daily, but probably hourly, realistically. Uh, so... Oh, I see. Cool chairs. Maybe there's an odd number of folks down here, she said. And you just the odd man out. Is that Adam Phil? Because I can make corpses pretty quick. I don't need her to guide me. Okay, R is... Oops. I'm so sorry, sir. saying over there I'm not seeing it highlight. Have some hold R to get her to lead you. This way. Maybe I need to see her shadow? Well now I don't have a shadow of my own. She stole it! <laughs> I think I was just turning it the wrong time. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. How do they sense it? That was something I didn't understand last time. Yeah, I'll set up some trap rivets. Um, there. Hello. And there. Come out. And there. Say some old safety. There. There. And up there. And there too. <laughs> ah. Unhand that child, you monster. Just put her right down on that corpse. That is a child of the family, not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Oops. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. Will not touch this child. We need to refuel. Just a minute, honey. <laughs> okay. Rivets and heavy rivets. Are we gonna be together again, Daddy? Yeah! 
Now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. <laughs>